My name is Andrew. I am opening up a new channel on YouTube to kind of show Android development, possibly start off very basic and hopefully move on to some more complicated um, development, either like apps or possibly creating a ROM. Um, the goal of this channel will be basically to give, uh, you know, core structures. I don't plan on doing anything that's going to be um, phone specific. I will probably be usually doing things that are that would apply to most Android phones that um, uh, and not necessarily the Nexus line. Just pretty much anything. Uh, I've owned three Android phones. I've been kind of rooting them and taking full advantage of them for over two years now. And basically, I like to help out a lot, and I've done a few videos on YouTube already, kind of to show how to do some things, and uh, the purpose of this channel is more to get the beginner into kind of where I'm at right now. Um, rule number one, you're going to need a computer to do most of the um, hacking, if you will, uh, rooting, and uh, that all starts off with... Um, Android's uh, developer website. And you're going to need the SDK. Uh, right now I'm using a Mac. I own a desktop PC that runs both Windows 7 and Ubuntu and I also plan to throw those basically mix between the three operating systems because really most of it is synonymous with both with all the three operating systems with slight changes um, and there are some caveats to using a Mac as well. Um, Rule number one, don't use Safari. Uh, for some reason, when you download a zip file on Safari, it's going to unzip it automatically for you. Uh, and as I download the SDK here on Safari, I'll kind of show you. For future reference, it's probably going to be in your best interest not to use Safari. And as you can see right here, it's almost done downloading. And you can see there's your zip file, and there's your SDK file. Now, in this purpose, it's fine because you actually do want to unzip this file, but for everything else, you're going to want to actually use Firefox or Chrome or um, even Opera if you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, but for now, we're going to kind of just create this little thing. Now, just because I have downloaded the SDK file and it's now unzipped, it's not really, it's very bare. What you're going to have to do is go into the Tools folder, and you're going to have to launch this Android. Uh, it's going to open up a terminal, and then your AVD and SDK manager. Right now, I have no AVDs, which are virtual devices. Um, I have no installed packages and the available packages are here. Now for communicating to your device, you're just gonna have it's gonna load up all these. These are really only if you're gonna be developing apps. The only thing you really need from here is this uh, platform tools revision seven to actually communicate to your device. So for now, now you can download everything if you really want to. Uh, in the future you'll probably need them if you're gonna when we start to look at app development and everything like that. Um, so we're going to install that. Uh, accept. And it's going to download and install and you'll see that the, this folder will now be very different when I open it up again. Okay, we're going to close this, close everything out, and go up. All right, we got a few more files. Now, for just about everything, we're going to be using this platform tools file uh, in, the, in the future when we actually com communicate to the device. Um, I just wanted to get that started for now. And, you know, this is a rule number one. You now have the SDK installed, and you're ready to start communicating to the device.